Hello, I'm Luke Hatfield. I'm joined by Lewis Cox, our Shrewsbury Town reporter here at the Shropshire Star. Lewis, I don't know about you, but whenever I was playing football manager, I got a bit, a bit sick and tired of managing games. I click on the going on holiday button uh, and let some of the seasons <laughs> skip through. Is I can relate. Is that something that Paul Hurst is doing a little bit right now, heading into the playoffs? He, he hasn't spoken to the press for a little bit. Perhaps. I always used to press storm out at the press conferences. <laughs> so, kind of, yeah. Um, no, look, it's been a strange period on the pitch with nothing on the line. Your players want to keep their fitness and obviously not make any errors before the playoffs, but nothing's been on the line in terms of points. Mm -hmm. And we haven't spoken to the manager in a while. Now, that, well, it's not entirely easy for, for our point of view is it like filling yeah. filling the paper and obviously getting content but you know we've spoke with Danny Coyne and Chris Doig and the players and and they've all had interest it's interesting to hear a different voice at times mm -hmm. that we haven't spoke with us for, for four different interview periods now and it's strange because it's fans fans you know what fans are like sort of knee jerk they, they, it worried them you know mm. Well, it is worrying because Paul Hurst has done so well at Shrewsbury Town. Yeah. You think if 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 they don't go up in the playoffs, that you think, well, could he be out of the door? Right, well, he's very good with like us. So the press is a dream. He talks happily, talk and answer anything. So it's a, we found it a bit odd. I, I personally thought, you know, we're, we're at the stage with these four games with nothing on the line that, you know, just giving it a breather. He's done so much of it through the yeah. season. You know, twice, three times a week, maybe even four times a week. Just, just giving it a breather if he doesn't fancy doing it at the moment that's his choice isn't it mm. and, you know some people might say that he should do it post match but ultimately it's his decision and if he wants to send out his, his number two then he can do that can't he and yep. you know I'm sure him and his number two are on the same page and say similar things sometimes the fans want to hear from the management in terms of like, the final Grimsby when he was in charge of Grimsby he missed the final one he, he was pretty much moving to Shrewsbury the next day so it's, it's yeah. not a situation like that he's missed four in a row now two post-match two pre-match town fans haven't got to get too het up of this I do understand why it's happened and I know it doesn't look the best but I mean people have been talking about this Ipswich Town job in the Championship mm. there's been no contact there you can see that in our story today that Ipswich and, and Shrewsbury have not there's been no approach no talks or anything like that Yeah. Is it? I mean his future where he's done such an amazing job you expect to see him in the in the running for championship jobs. Yeah. All jobs. I looked at the Sunderland one yesterday after Chris Coleman left, and he's sixth favourite in the odds there. Mm -hmm. Massive club, Sunderland. Yeah. Um, Shrewsbury Town can still go up this season to the championship. Yeah. If, if that happens, I'm fairly certain that Paul Hurst will be remaining the manager. Mm -hmm. If they don't, you know, not in the Shrewsbury Town board or hierarchy, Paul Hurst, fans, anyone knows for certain what jobs are going to come yeah. up this summer, who's going to going to want him. So. No one can say that with any categorical sort of um, certainty. Yeah, There's no certainty. Cer no, so. absolutely not. No. Um, Town have made a great position if he gets them up, um, obviously, and he can mm. have a crack at the championship with Shrews, which I'm sure is absolutely what he wants to do. But in terms of this little media hiatus with Hurst, you know, hopefully it'll come to an end on Thursday and we get to chat chat with him ahead of the MK Dons game. Yeah. Because that's the final game before the playoffs. That's when I think you want to try your yeah your kind of first team. Um, so yeah, hope he's had a, a breather from it and is refreshed for more annoying questions, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so Paul has taken a little bit of a media hiatus for now, but hopefully we'll be hearing from him soon. For all the latest on Shrewsbury Town, make sure you stay with us at dropstar.com.